Hey, how you doing? And welcome back to Every Day's Different. Back on Minecraft Mondays, and we're back on our Skyblock. So, if you remember last time, we uh, made Pulverizer, I think we did. We made the Pulverizer, and we just sort of got some sort of stuff set up. We got our mob farm set up over there, as you can see mobs spawning in. And yeah, however, one thing I sort of realised last time is that I now have no way to get into the coal generator under here so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to make probably another coal generator and uh, get that sort of line these up a bit more and uh, make it so it's a bit easier to get to them so i can easily fill them in with uh, coal when i need to and i think that's what i'm going to do first of all and yeah so i'm going to do that hopefully we'll have some mob spawn while i get to it and then we will go and kill over, go over and kill them. And yeah, so I'm just going to make that and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so as you can see, we've got all our stuff set up. We've got, I uh, ended up taking it all down basically and making sure I put everything into the, into here. So we've got our power furnaces and all that. It's all sorted in here. So everything is set up in there now. So I can just pull out whenever I, pull out all the stuff I need whenever I need it. And yeah, so the pulverizer. Actually, that's a good point. I need to power it down. Um, let's just grab some coal. Charcoal? No, we'll grab two stacks of that. Here we go. So we'll lock that in there. And we'll lock that in there. Not that. That. There we go. So, the pulverizer is where you can start... Oh, I need to get rid of that, don't I? Uh, redstone torch. Where is it? Yep, there we go. Right. So, as I was saying, the pulverizer is where you can really start making uh, making EMC quite easily. Because what it does, it's obviously when you break like a diamond block or something, it um, only gives you one diamond back. However, you put it in the pulverizer and you get two diamonds back. Now, if I grab, I see just, just to see how much um, how much do I have in the shop? How much coin do I have? A thousand. So if I come into the ore shop and find, say, emerald ore is going to be the best. So I'm going to get an emerald ore. I'm going to straight away put that into there. Now if I take out all 11, so you see I've taken out everything I can. We put it into here. Now if I were to put, if I were to just mine that straight up, I would get 11 emeralds back and that would be all I get back and that would just be basically I'd have taken it all out and be putting the same amount back in but as you can see I've only pulverized one but I've got two emeralds back so I'm pretty much just doubling my EMC by taking it all out and then putting it back in which is really easy to do and that's basically all you need to make to start making some good profit on the EMC now there's more ways you can sort of automize it uh, automates it sorry and um, that's what I plan on doing in the future because there's yeah you can quite easily make loads of this and not really need anything else for EMC but that's not what I'm going to do I'm going to try and make it I'm going to do other things to make EMC in the future but yeah so this is what I'm going to do I'm probably just going to build up quite a lot of EMC for a bit and then I will be back once I have built it all up and I've probably got hopefully I'll have easily over a million EMC by that point so yeah, that's what I plan on doing for this bit, and uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, so guys, I've got all this set up now, so I have five pulverizers working at once. I've taken the one away from over here, and we got all that. So I think now what I'm going to do, just to bring in some uh, of the coins, I'm going to try and make all diamond armor, uh, and all the emeraldic armor, and the armor stand, because that will get me quite a nice amount of coin just to play with if I need to uh, sort of get anything out of the shop. So, diamond armor is obviously pretty simple. Armor stand, pretty simple as well. Emeraldic armor, still not too difficult. So, first things first, we'll do the armor stand. So, I need some stone. Oh, I've got caps lock on. Stone. Let's have a look. I can't remember if I made stone. Yeah, here we go. So, one, two, three. And we're going to go across here. Stone slabs sorted. 
Next up we need some sticks. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know how many I need. Um, so we have one of them there. Because I've never actually made an armor stand before in Minecraft. So there we go. There's that. So I can go in there. We can't unfortunately put stone slabs into the into there. So you know, there's that. Um, next up, I do need to. Okay, right. Let's grab that out quickly. Now, I haven't actually got diamond ore out of the shop yet, so what I need to do is I need to get all this emeraldic armor first, which is fairly simple. So it's going to require me to get a redstone torch, and I'm sure you can probably tell where this is going now from just having to get that out. So we're going to get some... One, two... I don't know, you know what, never mind. We just need one emerald. Do that. We are going to... Turn that there, and then we will just drop that, if I can remember how. There we go, drop it, we have an emeraldic crystal now, which is nice. Put that straight back in there. We'll grab out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty-four. Ooh, I can't remember exactly. Is it twenty-four for a suit of armor? I think so. Right. So we go. Boom. There's one bit. Dun 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 dun. And there's a second. Dun 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 dun. Third and finally. Boom. Full emeraldic set of armor. Drop all that back in there. Oh, and the torch quickly. Oh, no, I shouldn't have dropped the torch in there. Because I need to smack that. There we go. And now we've done that, if we just come over to this and we can grab all of these rewards and as you can see we have just got an absolute load of coin for that 15,000 which means I can easily come over here and grab the diamond ore except that and then there we'll grab one out and we'll grab an iron pick there's that and now some of you might be wondering how come I'm not putting diamonds in here instead of emerald. Well emerald just has a bigger EMC so it's going to uh, get me EMC quicker than diamonds will. That's literally the only reason why. Diamond goes in and we'll just grab out a stack quickly and then boom and we'll go for there there. Boom boom and that in there and that in there that is diamond armor all done and we come back into the book and boom I think I can just press that actually so yeah we got a nice bit a little bit there so yeah there you go 16,000 total we have now which is good it's going to allow us to get a bunch more stuff. So what are we looking at needing to get next? Well, I think next I might go over and slay some of those mobs. So let's grab out a sword, which we will make a diamond sword now. But, oh, can we get a... I want to actually check this. Emeraldic sword? Yes, we will. Two of them. And a stick. There we go. Boom. Boom, boom. There we go.
And let's go slay some mobs. Here we go. So as you can see, we've got quite a nice few mobs in here. So let's just let... Oh, I can hear an enderman already. Slay all these. And I'll be back in a bit, guys, once I've slain them all. Alright, so all the mobs are slain. Now, one thing I can say is we did get a loot crate, which is nice. I got a loot crate. We got an ender pearl, which is always useful. Some more bone, gunpowder, that. And then the inferior essence can't get in seed. What did I get? I just got a normal, uncommon loot crate. So, you can get quite a few different loot crates. I'm going to actually explain how this works. So, you can get a normal common loot crate, uncommon, epic, and then legendary. Legendary loot crates, super rare, but have some really good stuff in it, which is what I'm looking for when we get a bigger and better uh, mob farm. But for now, uncommon is pretty good, so let's see what we're going to get. Name tag. Okay, that is probably one of the worst things we could get, but it's a little bit extra EMC. So I can't complain. So there's that. Got all that down now. And what are we going to do next then? Oh, yep, we got the loot crate. Random reward. Okay, give me something good. Superium Furnace. Hello. And a nice little bit of uh, EMC. I could definitely have got something better. But Superium Furnace, I can't actually EMC. That is a real shame. That would have been good. Okay. Um, okay, that will be useful for the future. But for now, I don't really need it, to be fair. Right, let's work out. What am I going to be up to next? Um, let's, um, let's get some Salis Mundus, I think. That's always going to be useful. And then, maybe if I have time, I'll move on to try and get some of these upgrade quit kits, because that'll make this process right here much quicker. So, first things first, Salis Mundus. I need to get some crystals. So, we come in here. I can't remember where I have to go, but it's going to be there. Magic shop. And we just need to... We're just going to grab air crystal, earth crystal, entropy crystal, fire crystal, flux crystal, border crystal. We're just going to grab all of them. There we go. I can't remember if these can get in seed. They can. Nice. Okay. I'm going to put all of them in there. And then I think we only need three. So we're going to grab one of each. Now, this is where people get confused. I got really confused with this to begin with. You can't just craft these straight away because it says you have to craft it with a book, etc, etc. What you need to do is you need to place them down on like a piece of stone. I think so. Stone. Here we go. Grab a piece of stone. Grab, and then we, you can place it down on them. Here we go. And then you just beat it and now you get the crystal that you need to be able to form Salis Mundus. I did not realise this when I first and it took me so long so, yeah, I don't even tell you how long it took for me to get Salis Mundus so you need that and then I can't remember what else you need it tells you in the book luckily duh, 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 duh. a handful of redstone in a bowl using a piece of flint uh, in the dream I took dust so, at the stream machine, dream, I took three of those strange crystals. Here we go, we've got three of them. I've been finding. Ground them with a handful of redstone in a bowl using a piece of flint. Okay. So, what that tells me is I need a bowl. So, let's just grab some wood. One, two, three. Make us a bowl. Smack them in there. One of them. 
piece of redstone. And finally, some flint. And now, I'm pretty sure if I just go bam, boom, bop, boom, bam, pow, there is Salis Mundus. We go, we got that sorted. So we're going to put that, that back in there. We'll keep the rest of it. That's going to be the start of that. Which also means we will now have a little bit more coin. Which is good, we like the coin. So these three are going to be fairly simple. I'm just trying to see, okay. I think we've got time. So I'm going to work on getting the hardened upgrade kit now. So what these basically do is it means you can upgrade our machines here so they'll work a bit better won't use as much energy etc etc so i'm going to grab these out and on top of that now that we've done that i will be able to get right so we need three more pulverizers one two three and then emeralds we need one two three four there we go. So first things first, boom, boom, boom. And then we just split all the emeralds in half. Whoa, nope, there we go, right. Put that in there, put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. And filling the last one up. Sorted. Right. So that's them all filled. That's going to be another like eight stacks of uh, emerald, which is going to be like eight million or something EMC, which is just brilliant. So that's all good. And now let's see if we can't make this upgrade kit. So, upgrade. So it's this one right here, the hardened upgrade kit. So we need a bronze gear, invar ingots, and redstone. Okay, bronze gear. That requires four bronze. Okay, how do we get four bronze? We can get it by... Let's have a look. How do we get it? So here we go. This is a sort of alloy smelter. We can smelt, smelt copper and tin together. Um, so basically we need an alloy smelter that's what we need how do we get an alloy smelter let's have a look alloy um, best one simple alloy smelter that's all we need so we need two furnaces a bucket, three iron simple machine chassis two stone gears which I think we have all of it so furnace one two Three iron, simple machine ash chassis. Okay. Iron. One, two, three. A machine chassis. There it is. What else do we need? A bucket and two stone gear. Boom. And stone. One, two. So if we just come over here. Bam, bam, got it. There is a simple alloy smelter. Now from there, what was it to get bronze? Bronze ingot, right. If we go across, come over to the alloy smelter. Three copper, one tin. That's all we need. So, come in here again, copper, one, two, three, and a tin. There we go. Bam, bam. These are going to smelt together now. Slo well, some things take really, really long to smelt together, while other things don't take too long. This luckily isn't taking too long, so that's going to smelt together now. And there we have it. Bronze. Four bronze. Put them in there. So we need one, two, three, four of them for our bronze gear. That's got that. 
sorted. Okay, what else do we need for our hardened upgrade kit? And there it is. So we will just put that over there. So bronze sorted. Next we need invar, which I know we need to smelt together again. So that's going to be two iron and one nickel. I think nickel is going to have to be something we're going to have to buy out the shop. Here we go. Search nickel. Nickel ore. Accept that. Bam. Not that. That. And we will grab out two bowls just to smell it because I can't be asked to use anything else. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. There is our nickel ingot. And it goes to there. And we need, what do we need for invar? We need two iron, one nickel. Okay, one nickel. And iron, one, two. Sorted. Boom, boom. That's going to smelt together now. Nice and quick again, hopefully. Yep, all good and quick. Almost there already. And there's our invar. So, got that. So now we'll grab out the bronze gear. One, two, three, four, invar. And it was two redstone. One, two. And... Put that in. And we've got a hardened upgrade kit. Put that in there. And then if we grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I really hope this works now or I'm going to look like a fool. Yes. All of them have just been upgraded. Which should mean they will allow me to put augmentations in now if I want to, etc, etc. And yeah. So that's basically all I was doing. And I've just fallen in there again. Okay. Brilliant. I've, you have no idea how much I've actually done this this video without me showing you all right well i think that's going to be good for today guys uh, we made our ally smelter we've uh, done a bit of mob uh, farming uh, done a nice bit of pulverization emc building up and we got some good stuff done in our quest book and we'll grab that hardened upgrade kit out sorted oh good you know, good bit of beast coin anyway that's going to be all for today guys and uh, I know quite a lot of you enjoy uh, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought, so that's going to be coming tomorrow. Don't you worry. Uh, I hope to see you all there for that. And I will see you in the next video.